Hi everyone. Welcome to the Chemical Engineering Process Design Learning Videos with Aspen Plus Software. This is our 13th video lesson. This video lesson provides you knowledge and skills on understanding the added features of chemical process design simulations, applying Aspen Plus software to perform economic analysis of a chemical process design. During the conceptual design phase, 80% of capital costs and 95% of operating costs are determined. Operating costs are typically two to three times the amount of capital costs. Decisions made during the conceptual design process have a major impact on the final project output. So it is important to make the right decisions based on rigorous cost estimates instead of guesswork. Let's see the typical workflow of the cost estimation process. At first, we perform the process simulation. According to the process simulation, we need to evaluate the capital costs as well as the operating costs. Thereafter, the total project costs and profitability should be evaluated. After we obtain the profitability and the total costs, we have to compare our design with alternate scenarios or other projects to see how better our project is. In comparison to other scenarios, if our simulation is economically not good, we have to go back to our simulation and change our design. If our simulation is better than other scenarios, we can proceed to document all information and focus on project scope. After that, we can develop the medium level detailed estimates for the economic benefit. After completion of total economic analysis, we can submit our design project to management or further consideration of relevant officials. If the project is approved, we can export the information from Aspen Process Economic Analyzer to Aspen Capital Cost Estimator for further scope development of our design accordingly. If the project is disapproved, we have to go back to our simulation again and change our design accordingly. Let's get familiar to Aspen Economic Analysis tools. For this, let's open the process flow sheet for cyclohexane production that we built up in the last video lesson. Let's first add some more utility equipment to this flow sheet. The reactor product must be cooled down from 400 degree Fahrenheit to 120 degree Fahrenheit before entering the flash vessel. So let's add a cooler to the flow sheet for this purpose. So reconnect the output product from the reactor to the cooler. And another stream from the cooler to the flash vessel. After that, double click on the cooler to specify the input data. Let's mark the temperature as 100 degree Fahrenheit. And there is no pressure drop inside the cooler.
Then let's add a compressor to feed hydrogen. So add the compressor before hydrogen feed stream. And reconnect the hydrogen feed stream to the compressor. Thereafter, add a new feed stream from the compressor to the preheater. Go to the hydrogen feed stream input data and change the pressure to be 50 PSIA. Double click on the compressor and under the specifications select isentropic as the type of the compressor. Let's enter the discharge pressure as 335 PSIA. This means that the compressor will pressurize our hydrogen feed stream from 50 PSIA to 335 PSIA. After adding new utility equipments, let's enter the buying and selling prices of our feed and product streams. This is to determine whether our process is capable of making money or not. Go to Setup tab in the Navigation pane and click on Stream Price option. Select Hydrogen Feed Stream and enter $1.8 per kilogram as the price of hydrogen feed. Then select the next stream as benzene feed and enter $0.5 per kilogram as the price of benzene. Also enter the product stream which contains mainly cyclohexane that is the bottom stream from the distillation column and add $1,250 per ton as the price of cyclohexane. The purge stream from the splitter 1 will contain some hydrogen and will have some value either as a product or as a fuel. But let's consider it is negligible for this analysis. Note that these prices are not the updated real prices. They were used only for the learning purpose. After correctly entering all the prices data, open the control panel and run the simulation. You will notice that the heat and material balance table, that is the streams table in the very bottom, has now created a row for cost. This will show the cost per time of the stream for which a price was specified. Next, we will estimate costs for utilities. Go to the Simulation Navigation pane and click on Utilities tab. Select New and type the name as Elect to enter a utility for electricity. In the Specification tab, select Electricity as the utility type and enter a purchase price of $0.1 per kilowatt hour.
then add another utility and name it as water. Select water as the utility type in the specification tab and enter a purchase price of $0.025 per ton of water and also add a cooling value of minus 33.44 kilojoules per kilogram. Then create a new utility for fuel to the boilers. We will use natural gas to produce steam in a boiler to heat process streams. Enter a new utility and name it as in gas. In the specifications tab, select gas as the utility type. Enter an energy price of $5.8 per mm BTU. And add the heating value of 20.62 per mm BTU per pound. Next, go to each unit operation block in the navigation pane and select the utility to be used in the utility tab. So let's go to compressor and select the utility as electricity. Then go to the cooler and select water as the utility. Then go to the preheater and select gas as the utility. After correct input data, open the control panel and run the simulation. In the navigation pane, go to the results summary. Under that, select operating costs. You can view a table for operating cost summary and utility cost summary. The value under net cost is the net utility cost in dollars per hour. The value under net cost flow of feeds is the cost of raw materials in dollars per hour. The value under net cost flow of products is the amount of money the products stream is worth in dollars per hour. The operating profit can be calculated using this formula. That is, net cost flow of products minus net cost flow of feeds minus net utility cost. Applying this formula, we obtain the operating profit of this process is $2,505.3 per hour. The next step is to evaluate the capital costs of the process. This simulation has so far taken into account the mass and energy balances, but it has yet to consider realistic equipment design constraints. This simulation is highly simplified and has served to prove that it has potential to be profitable. The next step is to transform this highly simplified design into a real-life design which will provide more accurate estimations for capital and operating costs. This can be done using the built-in activated economic analyzer in Aspen Plus software. You can learn it yourself after practicing and getting more familiar to the basic simulations, what we have discussed so far through these video lessons. 
So we hope that you will apply this basic knowledge in Aspen Plus software for more detailed chemical process and plant design in the future. We can summarize what we learned in this lesson as follows. The decision making of chemical process designs must have an economic analysis. Chemical process designs can be easily simulated for economic analysis in Aspen Plus software. This is the end of our introductory video lesson course to teach you chemical process simulations using Aspen Plus software. Until we meet with another video course like this, goodbye.